show the world what science can do for the society and for the countries. As valuable as research is, I strongly believe that we will only harness the fruits of research when we aim for commercialization. So I think as academics we need to forget the aspiration of only publishing our research and take it a step forward and really think how can we turn our research into products, something that can really drive the economy of our countries. I'd like to tell all the women in Oman to continue their research in the different fields that we're working on and really think of how they can be part of driving the economy of Oman. And to all the Arab women out there, um, I say please use science as a tool to uh, showcase your talents. Growing up, I always had this instinctive curiosity about almost everything in life. I remember very well walking into my dad's massive lecture theaters in the university with hundreds of students and um, watching him answer important questions in life and to see the reactions in the students really inspired me. I think it was more like a spark that started at a very young age. We live in a world now that is shifting and moving towards cleaner, more sustainable energy resources. Uh, so my long-term uh, vision is to reduce our dependency in Oman on conventional fuels and move towards diversifying the economy of the country. In order to do that, I'm focusing on two streams in my research. One is in the production of second, third and fourth generation biofuels, while the other is looking into utilizing the uh, local algae or microalgae uh, wealth that we have in, in the country for the production of high value products like, let's say, antioxidants, food supplements, uh, superfoods and drugs. My vision and what will really make me happy is to establish the first microalgae biorefinery in Oman uh, in order to have like mass cultivation of algae where we can produce biofuels and high value products from it. Mm -hmm.